Okay, I thought I'd go through the configuration guide I've put together for the Cisco Access Server. So I'll go through this and then I think what I might do is jump on and do configurations as we uh, talk through. Step one, you connect your console port uh, from your PC or laptop to your Access Server, so your 2509 or 2511. And what you want to do is obviously put an, I an Ethernet IP address on. So you want an IP address that you can connect to the uh, Ethernet port on the access server. So it's going to be something like 172.16.1.1 for example. So I, I recommend you use PuTTY if you if you check on uh, Google. Now on my, uh, I've got a USB connection that goes into my console cable. So I didn't use COM1, mine was COM10. Click on Serial on PuTTY and then um, if it's COM1, fine, otherwise just checking Device Manager for the COM port that's been allocated. Uh, on, the, on the router, so you open up a router window, I just put IP address 172.16.1.2, 255.255.255.0. So, um, in fact we can do that now. So I've connected to the router, this is the terminal server. So if I do a show version, and it's telling me it's a Cisco 2511, so that's fine. Press the space bar, uh, conf T, uh, interface, I could put E0 or Ethernet 0, Ethernet 0, IP address 172.16.1.2. I've already put an IP address of 1.1 on my laptop and I've connected the cable up. Now you need to no shut, oops, no shut that interface, and I'm going to hold down the control and the Z key. It should hopefully the interface would come up. <coughs> now ping, you can ping from your laptop to your router or vice versa. Um, depending on your firewall, it may be blocking pings coming into your laptop, so you need to disconnect any internet connections if you're turning your firewall off, or just have a, a laptop that isn't connected. Uh, 172.16.1.1 so I'm going to ping from my router to my uh, lap laptop excuse me there you go first ping may um, fail because of uh, it's doing a DNS lookup oh doing an ARP sorry it's populating the ARP table so that's fine I can ping and if I did another ping it would be 100% there so let's go back to our instructions uh, I've stuck the IP address on Ethernet 0, I've put the IP address onto my laptop of 172.16.1.1. Here's some pictures, this is what the AUI port will look on the back of your router, so you'll have one of those, so you do need on the right here one of these um, AUI converters. That goes into the router obviously, the other end is where you plug your Ethernet cable. So I've done my ping and that's all worked. Uh, the, the next thing I want you to do is get your octal cable, so this is step 3. Octal cable which you can buy off eBay, one end goes into the uh, router. Just check that you're going into lines 1, 2, 8 if, it's, uh, if you're only attaching one cable. And you can see luckily on this um, cable here, each of the ends has got numbers on 1, 2, 3, 4 and it'll go all the way up to number 8. Step 4, configure your access server, so the 2511, to match the octal cable numbers on the correct routers. Just to start with, connect one or two routers up. So cable number 1, which is this one here, connect to whichever router you want to begin with. And I've basically got uh, some of the commands here. So we'll go through these. I'm going to give a, a host name to my terminal server, just just so you don't mistake this for one of your um, home lab routers that you're putting a config on. So conf t hostname 2511. Go back to what we need to type. To map, our, we're going to map a name of R1. We're going to give it, uh, allocate the port number. 2001 is basically what the router will recognize as cable number 1 and then we're going to give it the IP address of our Ethernet. So basically what this is going to let us do is Telnet from the laptop to 172.16.1.2 on port 2001. Now we could connect using the host name, um, but for the purposes of just setting this up for home, I'm not going to do it from here. 
If you're on the router, you could just type R1. So if you tell that to your terminal server, you could type R1 and it would open up router 1. So uh, IP host R1, uh, port number 2001, 172.16.1.1. Just double check. IP host R1, 2001, 172.16.1.2. Whoops, 1.2. Press enter. I'll do uh, the, for the next cable, cable number two, I'll connect to router two. 2000 and port 2002, 172.16.1.2. Press enter. The next thing we need to do is get our console uh, lines working. So line console zero, we've got 16 console lines. I'm going to set a timeout of zero minutes and zero seconds. This basically means if nothing happens, there's nothing seen on this cable. Um, say you set it to one zero, if no traffic was seen for one minute, it will shut your connection down, which is, we, we don't want that. So line console zero, line one space 16. Um, it's exec dash time out and then zero minutes space zero seconds no exec helps prevent the lines locking up so it's a handy command to add transport input all you don't have to put this but it basically lets any traffic uh, in through the console lines You can just let SSH traffic in, or just depends what you want to do. Okay, uh, we need to be able to telnet to this router. So line VTY zero space four, uh, password Cisco, and then we, we type login so it will check for the password if we need to add it under directly under this line. And that, fingers crossed and touch wood, should be all you need to do. Now you can connect from your laptop to one of the routers through the access server. So, uh, control Z. Obviously you do a copy run start if you want to have all this working. So I'm going to go to start on my uh, start menu. Internet to 172.16.1.2 port 2001 open press enter and this is uh, we're connected to the router type enable and I'll call this host name R1 oops come to host name R1 now I'll just increase the uh, change settings and just make the text a bit bigger 16 and bold there okay so you can see we're on R1 now if I go back to the access server and type show line it should have a asterisk now it doesn't look fantastic on here because I've got the text so big so you can see it but you can see an asterisk next to line 1 sometimes these lines get stuck so what you can do is I'll type show users and you can see there's an incoming session on line one. And if you want, you can type clear line one, press enter, and that will kick. That will kick me off. Now, if you wanted to, I mentioned earlier, you could connect directly to your access server. If you wanted to, um, you could just connect to router one by typing R1, and it would it knows exactly because you've typed R1, it knows that you're looking for port 2001, and I can connect to that router there. So uh, I hope that's helped, and um, you know, like, please, uh, if you do like this video, subscribe to our tips because we send lots more cool uh, Cisco study tips and and other stuff out on how to network.net.